G'day and welcome, my name's Matthew. In this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to establish connections between your Aweda controller and your PC. The options that we have are a PC USB cable direct to the PC and the controller, an ethernet connection via your network router to the controller, as well as transferring files to a USB flash drive and then loading them into your controller. Connect a USB cable between the PC USB port and your computer. ID Works should automatically detect the USB and the COM port number for your computer and your controller. If your computer does not automatically detect, it may require a manual entry. To find out what COM port your USB is using, you can open up the Windows Device Manager and go to where it says Ports, expand that and you'll see USB Serial Port and it will identify the COM port number that you're using on your computer. To enter this into RD Works, hit Setting add USB and select the COM port number that your computer is using and then press test. If it's successful you get this message and it will identify the controller number here. Press OK and then select that device and exit. Connect a parallel Ethernet cable between your network router and your controller. So you can see here we have a communication icon which is a picture of two computer screens and there is uh, a link between those two. When the Ethernet connection is disabled or disconnected, you'll notice that it changes to a red X. When there's an active Ethernet connection on the controller, the link light number 12 will be illuminated. The activity light is number 11 and will flash when there's a network activity to the controller. To access the network connection, we go into menu and we go down to controller settings. Press enter. Across once to the IP config, press enter. And we can see we can enter the IP address in up here. So using the number pad, we enter the IP address in of the controller, use the arrows to change fields, and then go down to right and press enter. That will write that configuration to the control board and we can see that we have set up success. Now to connect to our controller via the Ethernet, we go back into RDWorks and under device and the setting button, we go add. And what we're going to do is add a web IP address here. Enter the IP address that you entered on your controller and press test. Once you've done that, you'll see it says port test success, say okay, and it will identify the controller that you have connected. Say okay, and then select the IP address as your connected device and exit. That will change down here you can also select between the USB and the new Ethernet connection you've created using the drop down arrow. To transfer your file from your PC to the controller using a USB flash drive, after you've created your file, down at the bottom we have laser work, save to U file. Uh, give the file a name and save it to a USB flash drive. Connect the USB drive into the USB disk port for your controller. Now we press the file button and go down to where it says U disk plus. Press enter. Now all we need to do is read the files from the U disk by pressing enter. We can see the file that we just saved there and now we go across to copy to memory and press enter. The information has been copied to the controller, we press escape. Now to run that file on your controller, what we can do is press file, select the file that we've just saved to the memory, press enter, and that will load it ready to press start. 